I can only think of two choices of how we got here. The universe created itself into existence. But if that's the case, the universe must be eternal in order to do that. And the other choice is the universe was created into existence by and by a non-physical state. Now, you may ask, what is a non-physical state? Well, I'll let you think about that for a second. Now, have you figured it out? Well, y you see, a non-physical state can be described as information or simple ad ideas. Uh, think about that. You see, ideas are not physical objects. And ideas are, in fact, information. Even awareness is interconnected with I an idea. You require an awareness state in order to create an idea, which is going to represent an object but it's not a physical object are you guys following me so far now answer this small riddle if you can it's a uh, three piece riddle the first question is, can a communication system exist without intelligence? The next question is, can information exist without intelligence? It sounds the same, but it's not. The first one was, can a communication system which requires information can it exist without intelligence now since the second question was can information exist without intelligence the third one is is information itself a physical object what is in fact information if it's not a physical object since it's not something you can hold then what is it I mean you can't hold it I mean you cannot hold information can you you know with your hands right you can't weigh it you know the same way you cannot hold um, awareness you cannot hold ideas the same thing applies to to all of that now what is a communication system we know it requires intelligence in order to create it but but what exactly is it? I mean, it does it require physical objects in order to create it, or does it really just require intelligence, information, ideas, intent, awareness, in order to create a communication system between two separate points? Because if there's no two awareness states, then what's the object of having information or a communication system which requires information in order for it to work or f in order for it to exist?
at all. All right? So I want you to think about that. And I want you to look around the whole universe and ask yourself, what else is there besides information intelligence? Besides an awareness state which has ideas, which, a which is able to create with intent and desire a specific communication system out of thin air just by using non-physical symbols I mean the symbols do not represent anything that deals with mass in other words a symbolic letter simply re represents a sound it represents but it's not it's not a sound and it's not a physical object it simply represents it and the only reason is because intelligence assigned symbolic non-physical letters symbols and created a form of language and assigned these symbolic letters into sounds in order to be able to for them to mean something in order to re be representing something other than themselves because the letters do not represent themselves they represent the presence of the encoder intelligence because you, you can stick a a written message and you can form it with rocks or what have you anything you like and the message or the word this information has nothing to do with mass it has it just it's just immaterial information it represents an idea and the idea represents intelligence the act of awareness so that's what information represents and if you see information and if you see a communication system being developed or within the origins of the universe then you obviously know that something had to exist prior to it in order for the information and the communication system to exist just the only way that you can refute this argument is if you create a communication system which which does not require immaterial non-physical information which is has nothing to do with the physical world at all you cannot grab information the same way you cannot grab and hold ideas nor awareness okay good now let's continue a break